it lets you see it like differently than just imagine it in your head. Teaching with tech, a school in El Cajon is one of the first in the nation to test augmented reality from Google. Our 10 News reporter Matt Boone spoke with students and teachers who say this could transform the way they learn. Okay guys, listen up. In the Hillsdale Middle School Library today. Did you press the orange button, Ava? Books were a forgotten relic. Do you see anything? Oh my, that's big. As screens transformed the space into an ocean. There's a stingray right there. Emma Kappenhagen and her friends became underwater explorers. It looks slimy. With one major difference. You don't have to go into the water and see them. You can just see them on land. It's called augmented reality. It's a shield. Where virtual 3D objects are superimposed onto real-world environments. We're always looking for ways to engage our students, especially in the day and age they're growing up in. That is, with screens around them at all times. Oh, there's a sword and a knife. So why not incorporate them into learning, says 7th grade teacher Kirk Rogers. The main thing is the kids get excited, and that's, that's half the battle. The other half is getting them to learn something. The kids can experience a totally different type of learning with that and something we couldn't get from books. Seventh grader Fedek Amali, who calls herself a visual learner, already sees applications for it. Sometimes they'll struggle in school because of that, but I feel like this can really help. A successful trial. Cooler than just looking at a book when you can actually see it where you are. Even the teachers are geeking out. It's almost like Star Trek. Is you, when you get into the point where you can actually walk into a model and walk around it, you see that stuff on the movies, but now we're actually kind of getting into it. In El Cajon, Matt Boone, 10 News. I wish they had that when I was in school. Why I didn't know. they have it? I guess we're too old. <laughs> Way too old for that, <laughs> yes. Well, what happens next? The district says it'll have to return the equipment. That's the bad part. They say <laughs> they don't know when or if Google will make this technology for sale.